previously on the Association Boston Celtics. I got spaghetti and I got pancakes. So I come out there, a lot of cars ready to play. The Seas took their show on the road as Ray Allen's assault on the record book continued. In the corner, Ray. There you go. When I say, when I say, bye bye, when I call it. Didn't you hear me just call it? The wind column grew, but it belied a deeper concern. We're dealing with a ton of injuries, and so we're going to need all hands on deck. There's no doubt about that. Captain Paul Pierce shouldered much of the burden. Escaped out of here. <laughs> Escaped. Remarkably, the team had rattled off 14 wins in a row when the season flashed before their eyes. Boston stocked with great players, but nobody can afford to lose Kevin Garnett. We know we're a great team, but we can't win a championship without Kevin Garnett. For much of the season, the big story for the Celtics has been injuries. But by mid-January, getting healthy became the headline. Delonte West's broken wrist was healing. Kendrick Perkins' intense knee rehab put his return ahead of schedule. And after missing nine games with the strained calf, the Celtics' emotional leader, Kevin Garnett, was back and ready to give the team a shot of adrenaline. Switch on defense. Davis has now got the point guard. And Garnett with the steal. Kevin Garnett with the steal. The Boston Celtics have held on and beaten the Magic. It's tough to say whether KG's emotion inspires his performance or vice versa. But after suffering knee injuries the past few seasons, one thing is certain. This year, both are in high measure. I feel like my intensity is right where it needs to be. If you're going to be anything in this league, you got to have an edge. To me, he's the most intense player I've ever seen. There's no room for soft. There's no room for, for a person who's going to give, give ground. So you can see already he's frustrating him. Hell yeah, I'm trying to gain an, an advantage out here. If you're not, then you're in some trouble. Can't handle it. Get off the court. Garnett's passion has fueled his Hall of Fame career, but it hasn't won him any popularity contests. I don't like KG. He's a very mean guy. He's where is the... There's no love there. there where is the love? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, none at all. My job is to stop you. So I don't anticipate you liking me. I don't anticipate you trying to be my friend because I'm not trying to be your friend. Everybody is trash talking throughout the NBA, but sometimes he goes overboard. There is a line that you have to be careful not to cross, but uh, uh, KG has, has, has uh, this year seemed to turn it up a notch, and I, I really don't know why. The answer to that question is up for debate. What is not, however, is that some around the league claim the line has become blurred for Garnett, and for that, he's drawn criticism. I used to be a big fan of his. You know, I think some of the antics that he's pulled lately is, you know, you don't need to do that as a star. Yeah, I lost a little respect for him. Let's move to the NBA and my man Spike Lee chastising Kevin Garnett. Lee tells ESPN New York that Garnett went off on him during a recent game at the Garden. Kevin does nothing wrong, you know. Plays the game the right way. I think all these people who call him out would take him on their team right now. So. 
other than that, I could care less about that stuff. Half the stuff you probably hear about me <laughs> is not even true. I'm not doing anything different than I've been doing, what, 16, 15 years I've been playing. It's nothing personal towards anybody I play. It's the way I play, night in, night out. In Boston, the days of late January are the doldrums of winter. Endless snow and brutal cold become all too routine. But starting center Kendrick Perkins was looking forward to this time of year for more than seven months. Yesterday at practice, I had a good practice. And then after that, we went to Doc Rivers' office and he was like, we could go today against Cleveland. It came a few weeks earlier than expected. I didn't tell nobody, I told my wife, but I don't think like fans and no media know. I am nervous, I don't know what to expect. It's been about 224 days since I played basketball in the game, so I think the road to getting back to it is, has been a nightmare. I've never been away from basketball this long. Mentally, I was kind of going crazy. As far as with my knee, I don't have any feel. But getting out there, I'm scared I'm gonna run out of gas fast. Just, just being too excited about being out there, but we'll see. I'm trying to relax. And I think I just need to score my first basket or something, and I'll be good. Well, we all got some good news when we walked in the building tonight. Kendrick Perkins wasn't expected back for a while, but instead he will play tonight. What an overwhelmingly emotional night for a guy who's so beloved here. Suffered that knee injury in game six of the finals last year. They didn't have him in game seven, and they love having him back. Celtics wrapped up January on their first West Coast road trip. But the top team in the East had an up and down start. After beating Portland and losing badly to Phoenix, the Seas arrived in Los Angeles. Ah, la la! <laughs> A place where dreams are made, but also broken. Game seven was a time where um, I was speechless. And if I was sitting here to tell you that it didn't give me an extra push, then I would be lying. <clears throat> the Los Angeles Lakers have written a new chapter to this epic rivalry. The pain of last year's finals is felt not only by the team. It afflicts Celtics fans everywhere even those in the heart of L.A. Today's game against the Lakers after our Game 7 loss, I was here for that also, and it was just heartbreaking. Um, I do want revenge, because we're coming back for our title. Number 18 belongs in the city of Boston. B.L.A. 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 Nice. Nice. This game is that special moment in the NBA season. This is what the game of basketball is all about, Celtics-Lakers. This is the game that brought everybody to the table. And it, believe it or not, all these years later, it's still happening. Let's go, baby, let's go. Come on, y'all. Come on, no, no, gotta have it, gotta have it. While the Celtics had seven months of pent-up emotion, the Lakers still had Kobe Bryant. And it was soon evident he was ready to frustrate them once again. Kobe has it right corner, pull up three. It's good. Right over Garnett. Bynum hands off to Bryant. Kobe curling around, finds some space diagonally down the block, extends up with the floater and hits it again. Kobe confounding this Boston defense. 
Colby attacks right baseline, into the paint, fakes up, and hits the left-hander point blank. Kobe showing the repertoire. Kobe carried the Lakers to a four-point halftime lead. KG and the Celtics were bloodied, but not beaten. They come out, great start, great. Let's finish on the break like they're finishing on the break. Let's take it to the hole like they're hard, physical. All right, stop avoiding contact, go through contact, all right? Here's right corner, attacks around our test, into the paint, extends to the cup, drops it in, and is fouled. Rondo goes past Blake. Beautiful move for Rondo. Rondo, Allen for three. While Kobe tried to will the Lakers to victory, it was clear the better team that day was Boston. Celtics pushing four on three. Rondo lobs right side to Garnetti, alley-oops at home. And you slowly start to feel the air being sucked from the building. The Boston Celtics a hungrier team, and today were clearly the superior team as they come to Staples seven months after their gut-wrenching defeat. They hammer the Lakers by the final score of 109 to 96. The execution was phenomenal, all right? And the biggest key that I saw, get the ball to Rondo, run, and he'll get it back to you. That was huge. Let's go, all right? Get on me. Get on me if y'all find me. Get on me. Let's go, brother. Dude. Revenge game to the max. We needed this win more than anybody, and uh, we pulled through. And Laker fans, we'll see you in the finals, baby. We'll see you in the finals. Well, no statement. The league knows what we are. Everybody. Ain't nothing to talk about. All our talk is in our play, so, you know, stay tuned. For Kevin Garnett, Los Angeles is not just the city of his team's greatest rival. It's the place he and his family call home in the off-season. And it's there, on the beaches of Malibu, that Garnett finds the calm that often eludes him on the court. Water is tranquil, it's tranquility to me. I get a sense of peace. I'm one of those people that sort of embraces the moment. You know, I reflect. It's a tranquil moment for me. It's crazy that a lot of people, when they meet me, they expect me to be this intense guy, and a lot of times I'm, I'm as laid back and as cool as anybody else. He's <laughs> While KG is capable of letting his guard down, you can be sure it won't happen while he's wearing a Celtics uniform. You know, everybody says they want to win, but actions are different from words. That's what's most important to me when it comes to basketball. As January turned to February, the Celtics' play proved inconsistent. But one constant remained. 15-year veteran Ray Allen's relentless pursuit of Reggie Miller's all-time three-point record. Rondo, deep on the left side, floats across court, Pierce. For Ray, quick three from the corner, got it. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Six away from the record. Rondo, couple fakes out to Allen, wide open three, puts it in. Ray Allen now four shy of tying Reggie Miller for the all-time mark. Allen for three. Oh! He's one away. Ray Allen will return to Boston to take on the Lakers in front of Reggie Miller, one shy of the all-time record. night couldn't have been scripted any better. For Kobe Bryant and the Lakers, it was a chance to avenge their loss to Boston 11 days earlier. For Ray Allen and the Celtics, the game had added meaning. Nate got the ball here today, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I supported Ray Allen and going for the record. I didn't sleep extremely well last night. Just, it's just, you know, like a little kid, just 
you know, the game itself is, is big enough. And, uh, you know, now being here at, in this moment and being able to save this moment before us, it's uh, pretty overwhelming.